Wild garlic stinks. The story behind that smell is, well, it's quite interesting. So inside here, in the cells, you have two, two chemicals of interest. You have alanase, which is an enzyme, and you have alliin, which is a, it's a sulfoxide. It's a sulfur-containing component. So they're kept separate in the cells, but when you break it, those cells are broken, and those two, those two chemicals, those two things can mix. And the enzyme, the alanase, that starts to break down the alliin. That forms something called allicin, which is a volatile organic compound. Basically, it's something that smells and has a really short life. It's starting to degrade. So that, that really strong garlic smell that you get when wild garlic is broken or you stand on it or you crush it, that's formed by the act of you standing on it or crushing it. This is probably an evolutionary response. Plants that put out a strong smell when you stamp on them or you crush them, they probably did that so that animals that were grazing on them or standing on them would move away when they smelt that, it would put them off. That would mean that little patch of plants is more likely to survive and not be eaten. For humans, well, that's what we're looking for, because that is one of the really key identifying features of wild garlic, is its distinct scent. The problem is that once you've handled wild garlic, everything you smell for the next 30 minutes is going to smell like wild garlic. So you can't rely on wild garlic smell alone for identification.